And Praz, I want to start with you because you're looking at an EV car that's back from the dead. The Bolt is back. The Bolt uh, is <laughs> three months after. Yeah, it was a short yeah. death. It was a short death. Yeah, yeah. So, so today on the GM earnings call, Mary Barra in the beginning of the call said that the Chevy Bolt EV, which they said was ending production last quarter, is not coming back as a next gen model. Next gen, by the way, is a corporate buzzword, which we'll, we will get to later. <laughs> anyway, they call so it. It's called the next gen Bolt EV. It's going to come back. Like I said, going to be powered by the Ultium battery platform, which is. Uh, according to the GM, going to be a cheaper platform from the mm. build-on. Um, the new car will, I imagine, will likely be in that same $30,000-ish price range, because that's where the Bolt made, it, made its, its money, right? It's, it is a cheap EV for the masses, and GM sold more than they ever have in the last two quarters. So it, it was surprising to see it go, but I'm not surprised to see it come back. Oh, what's interesting to me is the number that GM threw out, which is 70% of drivers who trade in a vehicle to get the Bolt traded a non GM vehicle. At the end of the day, when you think mm. about the EV transition, yeah. it is about GM trying to appeal to a wider, wider swath, right? We're at 5% market share right now in terms of new buyers, EV mm -hmm. sales. Mm -hmm. uh, GM is the name, as well as Ford, that's supposed to get it to a much wider spectrum. So not only is it people who are buying in on GM who usually wouldn't, it's also the price point. And that's why it's interesting that just three months after the fact, they're bringing it back. Yeah, and what do you think the price point will mean for a company like Tesla, especially since we're seeing these pricing wars occur? I was, I'm curious, if, did Tesla have any price uh, stock reaction after the news broke with GM? Uh, I didn't see any reactions to, to that. Um, I know that the Model 3, if you include the federal tax credit, is like 33 well, I mean, thousand. that's the so, key, right? So that's competing in that same that same class. And right now, I think GM thinks that if, if, if they need to compete against the Tesla Model 3, they've got to make the Bolt better. Mm -hmm. And that might include that Ultium platform. Well, and we're talking about $7,500 tax credit. That's mm -hmm. federal, but if yeah. you've got states, which I always like to bring up because in California, it's $7,500 on top of that. I mean, that is a steep discount when you think about a Model 3, which is why you see them everywhere mm -hmm. in California and many other states too, right? So, so GM is going into that market trying to compete. It is about a lower price point. And I'm, I'm curious, if we're talking 5% to get to 10%, where is that market? Is it in sort of these trucks, you know, the, the F-150 Lightning, these other trucks that are selling at a higher price point? Or is it on the lower end from drivers who are saying, I don't want to be paying gas prices, but I also don't have $70,000 to buy a new car? I think if we're going to get even past 10%, it's got to be at that lower end. The, 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 the middle class buyer that wants to go into electrics, when right now it's, they're being priced out, they don't have that many options mm -hmm. aside from the bull, which they're getting rid of, right? So that's going to come online. I think and you're the right. Leaf. You and forgot the, about the leaf. The leaf, the leaf. <laughs> but the leaf, I don't think it's competitive in terms of range. But, mm. but I think you're right. I think it's, I think trucks too, because trucks are such a huge, the biggest market in, in America is trucks. If you can make those trucks cheaper and good range, I mean, that's what it yeah. is. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing EV adoption pick up across the board. So I, I'm very curious to see the sales yeah. for those bolts.